hello and welcome to my youtube channel chemvis in this video we are going to discuss IUPAC nomenclature of alcohols there are certain basic rules which we should keep in mind while naming alcohols these rules are first is regarding parent chain which is the longest carbon chain with OH second is regarding numbering a parent chain numbering is done in such a way that the carbon bearing OH receives the lowest possible number third point is regarding structure of IUPAC name for the compounds with one OH it is substituents name of parent hydrocarbon without E position of OH and then all for the compounds with more than one OH it is substituent name of parent hydrocarbon position of OH in increasing order separated by comma numerical prefixes like di, tri, tetra depending upon the number of OH groups and then all now let's go through examples we will start with very simple alcohols containing one and two carbon atoms these are simply named as alkanol so the IPC name of one carbon alcohol is methanol and that of two carbon is ethanol in the case of three carbon alcohol or higher it is necessary to mention the position of OH for example compound A let's go step by step parent chain in this molecule this longest chain with seven carbon atoms containing OH is parent chain numbering a parent chain numbering is done in such a way that the carbon with OH gets the lowest possible number so numbering will be from right to left as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 name a parent hydrocarbon since the parent carbon chain has seven saturated carbon atoms so it will be named as heptane substituents there are two substituents an ethyl at C4 and a methyl at C3 so they will be written as 4 ethyl 3 methyl in alphabetical order position of OH it is 1 IPSC name as we know IPSC name consists of substituents name of parent hydrocarbon without E position of OH and then all putting all these informations in the given order will give IUPAC name of this molecule as 4-ethyl 3-methyl heptane 1-all compound B parent chain in this molecule this longest chain with 8 carbon atoms containing OH is parent chain numbering a parent chain numbering is done in such a way that the carbon with OH gets the lowest possible number so numbering will be from right to left as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 name a parent hydrocarbon since the parent carbon chain has 8 carbon atoms with a double bond at C7 so it will be named as oct 7 in substituents there are two substituents a chloro at C5 and a methyl at C4 so they will be written in alphabetical order as 5 chloro 4 methyl position of OH it is 3 IPAC name substituents name a parent hydrocarbon without E 
position of OH and then all. Putting all these informations in the order will give IUPAC name of the molecule as 5 chloro 4 methyl oct 7 in 3 all. Compound C Parent chain It is 6 carbon ring. Numbering of parent chain By default, carbon with OH gets number 1. We can do numbering either clockwise or anti-clockwise but the numbering giving lower number to alkene will be the correct numbering. So, clockwise numbering will be the correct numbering. Thus, numbering will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Name of parent hydrocarbon. Since the parent chain is 6 carbon ring with a double bond at C3, so it will be named as cyclohex-3-ene substituents. There, are, there, there is one methyl at C6, so it will be written as 6 methyl. Position of OH, it is 1. Thus, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be 6 methyl cyclohex 3 in 1 all. Since position of OH by default is 1, so it is not necessary to mention 1 in IUPAC name. So, we can also write the IPAC name of this molecule as 6-methyl-cyclohex-3-enol. Compound D, parent chain. In this molecule, this 3-carbon chain containing all the 3 OH groups is the parent chain. Numbering of parent chain. We can number from any side as both the numberings are equivalents. Thus, the numbering will be 1, 2 and 3 like this. Name of parent hydrocarbon. Since the parent chain has 3 saturated carbon atoms, so it will be named as propane. Substituent. There is one butyl group at C2. So, it will be written as 2-butyl. Position of OH. It is 1, 2, 3. Numerical prefixes to indicate the number of OH groups. It will be tri since there are 3 OH groups. IUPAC name. Substituents name of parent hydrocarbon. In this case, it will be with E. Position of OH, numerical prefixes and then all. Putting all these informations in order will give IUPAC name of this molecule as 2-butyl propane 1-2-3-triol. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.